In school, everyone learns that an atom is made up of a positively charged nucleus surrounded by negatively charged electrons orbiting it. However, when you consider that these electrons are orbiting around a nucleus of opposite charge, and that electrons in orbit lose energy as they change speed, then surely all electrons would collapse into their nuclei, and hence everything would rapidly cease to exist. What then stops this from happening? The answer is the exclusion principle, a theory formulated by Austrian physicist Wolfgang Pauli in 1925. It states that no two electrons in an atom can exist in the same quantum state. That is, every electron must have a unique set of quantum numbers. To understand what this means, you need to know a bit more about the structure of an atom. In an atom, electrons orbit the nucleus in shells, which correspond to energy levels. The further out from the nucleus the shell is, the more energy it has. Each of these shells is made up of subshells, and each subshell contains a certain number of orbitals. These orbitals are not so much like planets orbiting the sun, rather they are regions of space in which the probability of finding an electron is high. To describe an electron's position within this structure, we use four so-called quantum numbers. The principal quantum number n tells us how much energy the electron has, l tells us the subshell that the electron is in, m sub l tells us which orbital within that subshell the electron is in, and the fourth quantum number, m sub s, tells us about an intrinsic property of all electrons, known as spin. It is this fourth quantum number, spin, which explains why the exclusion principle stands. Spin is a magnetic property of an electron, so-called because the electron's behavior is like that of a hypothetical electron spinning about its own axis. But in reality, the electron probably does not actually spin, and may not even have an axis. This spin property means that when an electron is within an external magnetic field, it acts like a tiny bar magnet, by either lining with or against this field. This implies that an electron in an orbital can have one of two discrete spin values, and if one electron has a spin up value, then a second electron in the same orbital must have a directly opposite spin down value. This means that there are only two possible values for m sub s within a single orbital. That is, if one electron has a spin of plus a half, then the other must have a spin of minus a half. From this we can see where the exclusion principle works. No more than two electrons can share the same first three quantum number values, and if two electrons do share the same first three quantum number values, they must have opposite values for the fourth. And so, if we consider the limit that the exclusion principle imposes on electron shells, we can see that it is impossible for an electron to fall towards the nucleus, as all inner shells will already be fully occupied.